Here we have, um, just for an example, the e Iris Kibio keyboard, a split keyboard. And I just want to demonstrate a short thing. Actually, there are two problems which uh, occur. That this is fairly heavy and stable. It has rubber, solid rubber feet. But if you just write and you do this or something, you have to fiddle around to readjust this and you never get it right. You lose a lot of time on fiddling around how to place this keyboard. And then it's the question, what actually is the best thing? Does it go like that? Or does it have to be, oh no. And then another problem is that you have, this is elevated. You would have to have, I don't know, a surface or something that lifts up your hand, okay? That you don't come on that strain on your ankles. So if you go to the typewriter, if you imitate the typewriter, how it has been, the mechanical typewriter, there was no surface you laid on and the whole weight of your arm is on your shoulder. And people think this is not good, but actually it's much better than to have your hands laying because you, they lay here. You see this, here are all your nerves and there are also points that are all going to make your thumbs dump at a certain moment if you have a weight here. So that's always forgotten with split keyboards. Thank you so much.